Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Tess Timms. I am an international speaker, trainer, coach, and I have Miss Jacqueline Mc McKeever. McKeever is on. She is one of the trailblazers, uh, women who lead. I'm excited to interview her, but I am going to let her tell you about her. Who's better to can tell you about herself than she can? So let let's let let's get going here. Tell her tell us about who Jackie is. Jacqueline is. Hello, everybody. Thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence. I appreciate it. So as she said, my name is Jackie McKeever. I'm a life and business coach. Um, what I do, I'm just going to break it down. What I do is I create strategies to help people thrive in the areas of, of, of personal development, personal finances, and uh, business planning and management. So this is this is the deal. What got me here is uh, I came out of depression, right? I came out of depression because I had more to give the world, and it was time for me to live in that at that thing. Some of the things besides uh, having three adult, hallelujah, three adult children, honey, okay. not no longer in the nest, okay. 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 And, uh, that I'm proud <laughs> that I'm proud of is I freed myself of two over two hundred and four thousand dollars of debt. Really, um, I, I got uh, I have an MBA with a minor in accounting. I've uh, I've restructured departments, got employees back engaged with the mission. I've created new policies, new procedures for corporate. I've managed budgets over $5 million, um, mm. contracts. I've, I've taught people in different areas. Like I've literally taken care of, because I came out of health care, I've literally done everything to the patient. I fed the patient. I've uh, taken their care of their personal needs. I've given them medications. I, I, I've taken care of their environment. And um, I've literally work toward building their environment itself through through contracts right i didn't literally take some some bricks and build it i ain't i'm not that fancy but anyway i spent a, a lifetime of a, a, a life a, a long time you know 20 years uh, of hiding and those things were just me showing my pinky toe Pinky, mm. So it wasn't like me maximizing the, the gifts and the talents that I actually can do. Like I was, uh, I mentioned that I came out of depression because uh, during the time I was in depression, I would shrink to make other people feel better because I thought that that would make them leave me alone. Okay, mm. Leave me alone because one of the things I was hiding, I was scared, you know, like, um, I just believe that sometimes God gives you visions or gives you a direction in your life. And sometimes we get afraid of success or afraid of the unknown. Instead of choosing faith, I chose fear. And there are many reasons why people be depressed. I cannot tell you why Sally and Jesse were depressed, but I can tell you about Jackie. Jackie had one thing I know about God, and I am a, a Jesus girl, a God girl all day. So anytime you talk to me, get ready for scriptures. So <laughs> the, the thing I want you to know about me that resonated, two of my favorite chapters, and I talk about it like endlessly, is John chapter 5 and Ezekiel 37. The reason why those are, I hold those chapters dear to my heart is because they actually spoke to me. I mean, the, the reading the chapters spoke to me when I was coming out of depression because mm -hmm. um, John chapter five talks about uh, the people going to the lake of Bethesda and they would, the angel would stir the water. Okay, so if they got into the water, whoever first in the water, they got healed. When Jesus came to this gentleman, he sat there th over 32 years. And Jesus said, will you, will thou be made whole? And the first thing that God did was, Jesus, uh, I'm paraphrasing now. This is the homegirl version, okay? <laughs> okay. He was like, well, Jesus, see, what had happened was, 
um, see, I've been laying here forever and I would have got in there, but Billy and Jesse and them, they wouldn't help me. Like I told them that I had a few coins and stuff in my purse, but they wouldn't help me. They know I couldn't walk over there. In the meantime, Jesus asking him the question, will he be made whole? Instead of saying yes, he held on to his past. Mm. Okay. The fact that he was crippled. He was in that bed and he had been lying there, lying there with his gifts, lying there with his talents, lying there with everything that he has to offer the world, lying there in the trenches with excuses. Oh, wow. Instead of saying, yes, I will be made whole. And that's why that scripture resonates with me because I was doing the same thing. I had to tell my God myself, and myself, yes, I will come out of hiding. Yes, I will no longer hide my talent. Yes, the, I, I realized that these gifts came from God and they're not meant to hold, hold with, inside myself. This right. is the reason why I'm literally um, depressed because I'm having all this power, this energy inside myself and it's not being expressed. Mm, mm, mm. Because, now, you say when they it, say fire down in my stomach yes. it was fire and it need to come out because oh. the thing I know about my God is he has not blessed us for it to stay just with us because yes. if that was so why would he say at things like if two or more gathered together in my name that he'd be in the midst there would be no need for two or more right. there would be no need because we would be complete by ourselves. That's what I'm talking about. I love it. And then the second, the second chapter is Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37, um, the Lord talked to the prophet and told the prophet to prophesy to the bones. See, there are dry places in our lives that we have allowed to stay stagnant and stagnant in the in the trenches. The trenches mm. is a place that soldiers go to hide from the enemy so that they can fire. The trenches is a place that foul things that get flushed out of our house through the sewer, you know, through the, those, those are actually sewer lines. Mess get shot through those lines, waste. Things that are in the trenches are things that have been put there because they are being flushed through a tunnel because they are waste. We are not people of waste. Okay. Yes. We are not a waste. We are here and we are here on purpose. So there are dry areas and there were dry areas in my life. And I believe that the Holy Spirit was telling me to prophesy over yourself, baby. Prophesy. See, I was looking for somebody to encourage me. I was looking for somebody to tell me that I was valued. I was looking for somebody to tell me that I was loved. I was looking for somebody to tell me, I see you. Mm. I had to start being that person for myself. Mm. I had, and this is where the self-development came in. I had to start learning to love myself. I mm. had to speak over myself, <laughs> over my life, over my hand, mm. over the energy, over the words that came from the pit of my stomach through the Holy Spirit. I had to not only speak it, I had to learn to walk again. Because if we go back to John chapter 5, Jesus told the man to take up that bed and walk. I imagine that when the man got up, he didn't get up steady because he had been in the, he had been laying down for 32 years, 32 years. I imagine that the man may have had a limp, but the thing I know about muscles is that when we fail to use a muscle, the muscles will not work. They will literally start to deteriorate. But when we begin to use the muscles, this is the strength that God gave us. These are the provisions that God gave us. These are the gifts that God gave us that the muscle become stronger. And if you read in that chapter, it Jesus told the man not to say nothing. Of course he didn't say, he didn't obey. He went and told people. So that allowed me to imagine that the man got stronger the more he used his muscle. Mm -hmm. 
So oh, wow. it's my job as a life and business coach to tell people to use your muscle, to speak over your life, to put use that power, that strength, that those provisions that God gave you, prophesy over your life. Yes, indeed. Command your, those parts to yourself to breathe. Yes, indeed. Wow. What a story. I mean, I love, love what you stand for. I mean, I can see your success. I can see why you have had success in your business because you get it. You are crystal clear what you're here to do. So I, 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 I commend you for, for being a person that you are. So let me ask you a question. What do you, what do you want the readers to gain from your chapter? No, let me ask you this question okay. before you answer that. Why did you choose this project? I chose this project. I want to say this project chose me because I, this is why I'm going to say this. Because I had been here for some time and until I decided, okay, God, Yes, I will start making a mark in this place because I moved here from Texas, right? I will start to make a mark in this place because at first I was planning on going back to Texas, right? I was literally planning on, and I was like, well, God, you know, I don't understand why it's so difficult for me to just take up my backpack and, and go back to Texas. I mean, you know, it must be something here for me, right? So what happens is I, I even though I had did this before at this particular time, because everything is on its own time, right? It was time. Um, I started looking for events and things to connect to people because I wanted to expand my business here. Like I, I, I was already working virtually. I wanted to start working within... Um, when I say locally, I mean within a six hour radius, you know, a driving radius or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I wanted to start connecting to people here because I know one thing I know for, for a fact, if I'm still here and I haven't moved somewhere else, it's because God has a work for me here. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, Jesus. Now this is a homegirl <laughs> version. <laughs> okay Jesus so um, I need to connect to some folks I need you to help me because I've been searching on the internet I've been searching Facebook and I ain't found nothing mm. and then you know I really wasn't looking hard enough I guess it was there and I wasn't paying attention right. I, hadn't you accepted, weren't ready for it yet. Mm -mm. I hadn't accepted that there was a work for me to do right here mm. okay so what happens is I found the success conference right and and kern was one of the founders of the conference so i went to the conference right and then i got on her email list or something and then she had this christmas event okay cool i went to that i was like oh she's interesting for some reason that woman is interesting i don't have it i, I haven't quite nailed it but it's something about that woman so yeah. then this project came exactly at the right time because I was going to events and creating events because I wasn't waiting on somebody to give it to me. That's good. That's I was right. going to events and creating events so that I can um, connect to people. Right. Because I know my gift ain't meant to stay within. Yes, indeed. So this book project came and I was like, okay. Let me do this. And then Karen followed up with me. I said, uh, let me think about it. You know, because you know, I'm a faithful budgeter, okay? Mm -hmm. How I got freed of two hundred and four thousand dollars of debt is because I'm faithful with my money. I don't yeah. I'm that doesn't mean that I'm thrifty. That means that I I am a great steward over my money. I assign my money where I want it to go. So I, I said, let me put some thoughts into this. And so she followed up with me again. I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. Because I had the money. The money was not the problem. Right. It was a decision was the problem. It was this decision. Do I, yeah. want to, do I want to do this? 
And I was like, okay, God, let me go and connect with this woman because I, I told you I wanted some connections. Yes. I wanted some connections. So then I participated in, in the projects and stuff. And it has been a really wonderful yes. experience connecting with people that's all over the place. Like, because before even found the success conference, I had never even heard of Kern. Some, some of the people who had went to um, success conference, I had followed and I heard of, but I didn't know her. I right. had never heard of her before until that happened. And I, I'm glad I, I participated. I know. It's, it's been so much training. It's yeah. been, I've get, got the opportunity to meet beautiful women like you. Well, thank you. Like you too. Thank you. It's just been amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. That is really great. Well, now that I understand how you got involved with the project and all the, the listeners have uh, understand. So tell me what you want your the readers to gain from your chapter. So in my chapter, the reason why I shared what I did, because my chapter is called Out of Darkness. Okay. I want you to know no matter where you are, you can make you you can reach the next level. You do not have to stay there. Right. You can choose you can choose you. Give yourself permission to be more and do more. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Well, you've had a great store, great interview. I'm truly impressed. Um I you are truly a trailblazer. I've I've interviewed so many different women. Um, the last couple of days, and I am so proud to be a part of the Trailblazers Women Who Lead, to be one of the co-authors co as well. So I do get it. I do get you. I do get all the authors. I do get everybody. I'm excited that can't wait to read your chapter. Can't wait to meet you. So I want to thank you for allowing me to interview you. And her, your name is, tell everybody your name again. Jackie McKeever. And how can they uh, contact you? You can contact me by following me on Facebook at the Jackie McKeever, which is spelled J-A-C-K-I-E. McKeever spelled M as in Mary, C as in Charlie, K as in Kate, double E as in Edward, V as in Victor, E as in Edward, R and as in Roger, or you can follow me on IG on Instagram at route the number two victory. You can also email me directly at contact at jackiemckeever.com. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, Jackie, thank you so much. I really enjoyed your interview, and I look forward to meeting you in person. So take care and have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. You do Thank the same. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye.